Ezra, you had them on their feet, and not a Telford destructive performance. Yeah, man, it was good. I'm happy with the performance. Went in there and just done what I've been working hard for, you know. Just went in there and just let the will be the will, you know. And I'm happy with it. It was good. Did you let some of that disappointment out from missing that your fight date last time? 100%. It was a bit personal to me because that's the same opponent I was meant to fight three weeks ago, you know. So I, it was no games in there. There's no friends. Um, I'm happy that he came out unscathed. A bit of a bloody nose, but, you know, it's boxing, you know what I'm saying? So rather him than me. John Edges, who's up here of touted, took that guy to distance. You knocked him out in two rounds. <laughs> That's showing your level, isn't it? Yeah, the proof's in the pudding, you know what I'm saying? Frank Warren's got one of the best light heavyweights in his stable right now, you know? So, and I'm trying to climb up the ranks, climb up the ladders as quick as possible. That was good. I, was meant to do, I wanted to do the six rounds, as mad as it sounds, but you know, when, when things start happening, you can't, you can't help it. But um, yeah, man, we're going to be sort of stepping up. That was a step of, a, of an opponent. Um, four on one, similar record to me, never been stopped before. I feel like I made a little bit of a statement there, um, but I'll leave everyone else to decide that. Is that something that we're going to see from you, that you're willing to take step ups like this, continue going and prove your worth as quick as you can? Yeah, 100%, man. I'm not here to wait, wait around and waste time. I want to be as active as possible, get as much experience in as possible, and I want to become a world champion. So I can't become a world champion sitting on my ass. Sorry for the, the language. <laughs> but one thing we also know is, is how much you enjoy yourself in there. You, you love it, don't you? Oh man, I love fighting. But it's the only thing I like fighting, but I love boxing, you know? The, the simplicity, the, the IQ you have to apply as well. It's not, it's not a brutal man's sport. People can see it as that, but um, yeah, I like to be a tactician, you know? I like to dismantle my opponents, which I clearly did there. Um, and it's a tough, a durable opponent, man. His head's hard. <laughs> but you know, I got the job done and I'm happy with it. The goal then? keep showing your worth, keep putting on those destructive performances then for the rest of the year? Yeah, 100%, man. Um, I just hope I keep getting to fight on um, good platforms like this. You know, Telfer is a great place to fight at. Frank Warren's put me on this um, a few times now. And um, yeah, man, I just want to uh, say thank you to all my team, my sponsors um, that's helped me to get to this far. Um, it's, a, it's, a long, it's a long journey, but we're here now. We've pulled up, we've arrived. And I'm, I'm saying that I'm the, the next light heavyweight of the scene, for sure. That's one thing I've noticed, you know, in some of your other interviews, you keep saying, I'll take on any light heavyweight of your level in England that you're the records. Is that, is that what you mean? Yeah, 100%, man. I'm saying I'm a warrior at heart, so whoever I have to fight to get to where I need to get to, it's either move out my way or get ran over. And that's what I'm here for, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not speaking just to speak. I can talk the talk, but clearly I can walk the walk. So I'm ready for whatever obstacles next. I'll just hurdle it or just kick it over. <laughs> Ezra, congratulations. We enjoyed another spectacular performance. I can't wait for the next. Thank you, man. I appreciate your time. Cheers, mate. Bless. Thank you.